It's been a year since I last reviewed package holiday flights to the Canaries, and in that time a lot has changed. The Boeing 757 now very rarely makes an appearance in any of the islands, and an even rarer sight are the wide body aircraft that used to dominate the peak season sorties. So you basically now have two options, particularly so in Lanzarote. The Airbus A320 family, or the Boeing 737. Which leads you, for now anyway, to this. The new generation of EasyJet's fleet, the Airbus A320neo. Today, we'll be flying from Manchester in Northern England down to Arecife Airport in Lanzarote, a flight I have done more than any other, and a flight which today presents a unique challenge, the middle seat. My name is Craig, I am Cessna Brune, and this is Flight Focus. Terminal 1 at Manchester is to be mothballed from next year, and if I'm totally honest with you, right from land side, it's easy to see why. While the post-security experience of airside is spacious, contemporary, and was, in its day, ahead of the times, the check-in area in 2024 is a maze, claustrophobic and extremely confusing. Roll on 2025. EasyJet, thankfully, will be moving to Terminal 2, a base which I praised highly in the past. For now though, if you have the misfortune of flying from here, you better look forward to ridiculous amounts of stress with an outdated security area, which is unfortunately staffed by rushy, rude people. The likes of which I've never seen before, not even in Paphos, who seemed to think that I was public enemy number one. In any case, if and or when you make it through, the former customers of Thomas Cook are given a chance to reminisce in what was once Kestrel's home. And in all honesty, it was great to be back, even if my last time was for 12 hours, thanks to that Icelandic volcano, you know the one I mean. Boarding was chaotic. The process is archaic, much like that of T3 at Heathrow, with no queue space allocated bar the walkway to the pier centre to other gates. I absolutely detest this design, and to all planners out there, if your client can't afford two floors on the pier, tell them not to build a f airport unless you're like Edinburgh and you adopt the American design. It's not ideal, but it's still better than this. As previously alluded, the aircraft my flight today is to be an Airbus A320neo, and we had been hoping for a special livery as both the Eurocar and Neo examples were stationed at MAN on the day of the trip. But unfortunately, we ended up on 6.2 year old Golf Uniform Zulu Hotel Foxtrot, an aircraft which had the Neo decal until February, four months before we flew on it. Grr. So, with Serena in the window seat and myself in the middle, we waited anxiously to see if we were to be joined on the aisle by another passenger. But luckily, after a surprisingly speedy boarding process, particularly given the chaos, the call of cabin crew boarding complete went up and we could breathe a sigh of relief. After that, it was a pretty speedy taxi along Lima, Papa and Victor up to Victor Bravo 1, where we were overtaken by an Eastern Airways Embraer, before we finally lined up onto two free left for a straight out departure down towards France, and then onto the Bay of Biscay. Like last year's A320 review, I was pleasantly surprised at the comfort, cleanliness and overall demeanour of EasyJet's aircraft. For a low cost airline, there is once again quite a bit to shout about. Firstly, the seats. Manufactured by Ricardo, the SL3510 is a lightweight ergonomic seat used to cross Europe, not only by EasyJet, but also by Iberia and British Airways on their other new aircraft. My review of BA's A320 Neo during my time of Kinetic was positive enough, and yet I would argue that with the much lower price point, EasyJet do manage to edge it out here, particularly when you consider that this flight is much longer, so well played EasyJet. Advertisements are present on the seat back, but they're not overly distracting. At first glance, the tradable size looks a little underwhelming, but upon unfolding, which is difficult I grant you, it is surprisingly adequate, managing to fit my surface on there with no problems, and even includes a sliding mechanism, unlike their main competition on most of their routes. Foldable armrests are fitted for AB, BC and the aisle, with the window armrest remaining fixed, at least in row 19. Legroom was sufficient with the disclaimer, as usual, that I am 5'8", and there was an ample seat back with underseat stowage for the hand luggage requirements. The safety car was in good condition too, which is always a plus. The overhead passenger consoles are modern and well equipped, despite this not being Airbus' newest cabin airspace, which is now being rolled out on some new Neo aircraft, but not EasyJet for now. As a result, don't expect the new larger overhead bins, but do appreciate the greater headroom you have. No bumps here, unless you're, like, Goliath. Then we come to the food. A large amount of items were available on this flight, including the hot and cold selection, hot and cold drinks, and snacks. Please bear in mind, however, that if your scheduled departure time is before 12 midday local, chips will not be sold on board. There's also a disappointing lack of allergen-free options, with most menu items, including cheese, are selling out quickly. 
I'm sure EasyJet would be able to accommodate better if they are contacted in advance, but it's just something to bear in mind if you don't get around to it. Flashback time. When flying between Edinburgh and Paris last year, I was extremely satisfied with my pizza on EasyJet, going as far as to say it was quite literally the best food I've ever had the pleasure of crossing my lips on an aircraft, so much so that I would go out of my way to fly EasyJet simply in order to have the privilege of consuming such glory in culinary form. Today, however, I decided to give them a retest to ensure that it was not in fact a fluke, and I'm happy to confirm that it wasn't. It was just so cheesy, and the dough was perfectly doughy that it made for the perfect dinner and, well this time I did need the Pringles since my hotel was not open for dinner that night. Resort Roundup will be out for the Lanzarote Village soon so please feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it as it would make me very happy human if you watched it. Anyway, on the return leg I tried the chicken korma and once again I was presently surprised. For the price however there was only one piece of chicken and the rice was very very tough so while it still exceeds my expectations for an Olka, I would not say that it bit the Ryanair lasagna in any way. Sorry EasyJet. And then, before long, we began our descent into Arecife. I've always liked this approach, coming down the eastern side of the island, steep banks to the right, and then, if you pick the correct seats on the left side of the aircraft, a lovely view of Puerto Carmen, Playa de los Poculos, and the Matagorda. If you're lucky, you might even spot your hotel. Followed by a buttery smooth landing in the touchdown zone from our pilot flying here. If I recall correctly, Senior First Officer based out of man, taxied across to terminal stand and began disembarkation using the air bridge. Lanzarote Airport is run by ANA, if you couldn't already tell by this. And to be perfectly honest, in the 15 years or so that I've been flying in, I cannot remember it ever changing. That would be fine if it was nice to begin with, but it ain't. Thankfully, they do seem to be getting refurbishment work soon, but no one seems quite sure what they're doing. Every source says something different, so we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Well everyone, thank you so much for joining me. The Session Rune channel is back with uploads once per month across all our series, so it'd be much appreciated if you could help me out by subscribing and turning on notifications to make sure you don't miss any of those episodes, and so I can keep travelling with a roof over my head when I'm not. But for now, I've been Craig, I am Sester Brune, and I'll be seeing you somewhere else soon.